Hey what's up guys Shazadi here and guess what I am back with ROM installation videos. So I'm just waiting for my next phone to deliver. So in that time I have inserted my SIM card into the Note 3 back again and I decided to make a quick video here on showing you how to install CyanogenMod 12.1 on the Galaxy Note 3. So as you guys can see I am running here on this ROM. Actually I tried it out. Uh, I tried it. Uh, couple of months back it wasn't really stable but now it is so I decided to make a video on this so without any further ado let's jump right into this so the first thing first uh, you need to just download two files from the link in the description number one is the ROM itself CM 12.1 and number two is uh, the G apps file so once you have done and downloaded those two files, just copy it to the internal or external memory of your device. And before doing anything, you just have to make sure that you take a backup of your EFS partition and also your apps and data because those will be lost. So now you, what you need to do is just boot your phone in recovery mode by pressing the volume up, home and power button at the same time. So here we are in the recovery mode. Uh, mine is Phil touch recovery. I prefer flashing ROMs from this recovery itself because it never gave me any kind of errors or anything like that. So when you are in recovery mode, you just hit this wipe data factory data reset and clean to install a new ROM and hit yes. So now you have to just wait until this is done. Once that's done, go back and hit wipe cage partition hit yes to wipe the cage partition as well now just go back and hit advance and hit wipe delvi cage now just go back and hit install zip and uh, at this point you need to just select the path where you have stored both of those files that you have downloaded i have it in my internal memory so i'm just click gonna click on that and now here you can see the two ROM and gapps file in the bottom. So first you need to install the, the ROM file itself that is the CM12.1 nightly. I have the 28th of July 2015 ROM file here. So I'm just gonna hit enter and it will check the MD file sums. But just hit install. So now the ROM is installing. It is as simple as that. If you just haven't done a ROM flashing yet so it's done it literally just took like five seconds now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna install the gapps files remember gapp file is necessary for the Play Store and Gmail and these kind of work these kind of apps to work so that's why we have gapps so I'm just gonna find the gapps file hit enter again and I'm gonna hit yes to install the gapp file as well So now it's done. I'm uh, just gonna go back, back, and I'm gonna hit a reboot system now. So as you guys can see, it, it it was just a process of a minute. Just it took me under a minute to do this thing. So now it's booting up, and I have noticed this new, awesome boot animation now. So my phone is booted back up now. I'm just gonna do this quick setup. So as you guys can see, now I have a CM12.1 running on my Note 3 and it is based on Android 5.1.1. So if you guys wanna try out something new and something clean and stable, uh, CM12.1 can be an option for you. It does have some new features which i haven't really checked out yet it does have a new app drawer right here as you guys can see something similar to android m i guess so that's that the camera is pretty similar to what we have seen before as well So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Do hit the thumbs up button if you want me to continue these ROM video series as well. Uh, so yeah, because I will be using this as my secondary phone from now. 
So yeah, that's it for this video. Do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you all in the next one.